Yeah. So I obviously got invited to see this uh, yesterday, a very early screening. And often when you get a film that is screened very early to press, it gives you a kind of good idea that maybe this is something and it's going to be quite good. <laughs> if they, if they're, mm -hmm. they're screening it early, they're obviously quite confident. And I just loved it. And I was sat there and I laughed the entire way through it, as did the whole room. Uh, did you, you, when you were fit, when you got this, when this was being made and now it has been made, are you all sort of aware that you're sitting on something that's quite, it, within this genre, within this kind of animated comedy genre, it's quite special. It's something that it feels like is going to get a really big audience. Well, you know, we, we, we felt we had something special along the way, and I think you, you do get a good feeling for it, especially as you start to show the movie to audiences for the first time, which you do over the course of making an animated movie, which can take several years to do. And we, we would spend our days sitting in editorial with our core team, our director, Thorpe Van Orman, and our amazing writers and board artists, and we would be laughing at the movie every day and, and, and it working for us in such a great way. But then you put it up in front of real audiences and you have 400 people in a room and you hear that laughter coming from the kids, coming from the adults, coming from everyone together. And there's no greater feeling in the world. Is there, is there one moment that, that would get you sort of every time you saw it? Is there still one moment that every time you see it, you just can't help but laugh? There, there are so many moments. And, 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 and again, I, the fact that I can't even pick my favorite parts of the movie is, is I think, a, a, a good enough sign. And, and, and I really just think that the, the new characters we introduce in the movie and the cast we have in the movie, it's all, they're really, I'm so proud of, of everyone we have. And I mean, it's, it's, a sort of a, it's a conundrum in some regards, because I mean, you, obviously the fact that Angry Birds has been, as you've uh, mentioned before, has been downloaded over four billion times, is a key fa uh, factor in getting bums on seats and getting people into the cinema. Sure. But at the same time, is it quite important that you don't, you, you, that audiences don't just associate this with the game? Because this is a whole world and a whole universe with so many characters that are so far removed from the simplicity of, of, the, of the app. And is it quite important for you that people do go into this knowing that there's a lot more to this than? Than, the, than is on the sort of on the on the, the mobile phone app. Well, you know, we we focused first and foremost on 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 making a great movie, and, and that to us was was so important that we had a, a movie and characters and a world um, that stands on its own. And and I think we have the great fortune of of this this mobile app that a lot of people know, a lot of people have played and have a connection to. But we we knew that if we didn't have a movie that that on its own really uh, had a reason to exist and and was entertaining and fun and funny, um, you know, we, we we wouldn't be doing our jobs. And so that, that's what we're so proud of. So what was it initially that that made that attracted you to the Angry Birds app? Because I mean, when I played it, I enjoyed it. But the first thing didn't. I'm not a filmmaker or too creative. So that's probably why. But I didn't play it and go, God, this would make a great film. But you guys obviously saw something in that that made you think this has scope here to really work as a piece of cinema. You know, I. I think that it's really the opportunity to, to get to create and, and, and to be creative because, um, you know, it, it didn't have a lot defined and, and, and that gave us a chance to really start to think in a way of, well, how would you turn this into a bigger story? How would you take these characters that were simple icons and bouncing balls and, and give them, you know, wings and feet and, and the ability for mobility? And, and, and that was a, a real fun challenge for, for all of us. And obviously, you know, I think after the first film, it, it felt like if this one goes well, we'll do a second one. Is that the case now? Is there is there interest in a third? Are you going to wait to see how the second one does first? Or have you already got sort of ideas bubbling in your mind? You know, we, we, we can't stop ourselves from, from thinking about ideas because we, we really do love these characters so much. And so we would love to have the opportunity to make a third one. Right now, we're we're super focused on finishing yeah. this one and, and getting it done. But but yeah, we would we would be thrilled to have that chance. And I'm right, I think you're working on the upcoming uh, Garfield. Film. Yes. So, so, so what, 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 why? Because obviously that's a story that so many kids and adults now, of course, have, have got a close relationship with. Yeah. What, what, what's, why are you sort of, uh, inclined to tell it to, tell it now? What can audiences and fans of the sort of character expect from this movie? You know, I, I'm I'm such a huge Garfield fan, as, as a lot of us are. You know, I just grew up with, with him as a character and, and loved reading those big rectangle books and, and, and the strip in, in, in the newspapers, you know, it, it, I, I think that what we're excited about with Garfield is to bring the character and all of those characters to life in a fully CG movie. Um, you know, it, when, when it was done in live action, they only had the chance to bring Garfield to life in CG, but all the others were, were either real animals or, or, or humans. And, and, and there's something that I love about the designs that Jim Davis has created and, and all of the characters. So I'm, I'm excited about it. Brilliant. Thanks so much for your time today. Much appreciated. Thank, Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching.
Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you 